I think all of us have that guilty pleasure in our music libraries, that one artist, album, or song that we're too embarrassed to tell our friends that we listen to. I listen to a lot of weird or rather non-traditional music, and in the past year, one obscure and unconventional artist became one of my all-time most listened to artists. Her name's Asaki. She's a 25-year-old singer-producer that's been labeled as one of Japan's best hyperpop artists. Asaki has a small but dedicated fan base. So let's dive into why myself and thousands of others love her music so much. Hailing from Saitama Prefecture, Asaki grew up listening to rap songs on the Japanese video sharing site Nico Nico, Avril Lavigne, Adele, Paramore, and anime soundtracks like Cowboy Bebop. In high school, she taught herself how to make desktop music on her computer. She struggled to find her confidence in singing and oftentimes felt out of place in her surroundings. But when she confessed these feelings to one of her teachers, they offered Asaki a job at a music production company they worked for. This led to her writing music for the stage adaptation of the anime Kimono Friends, and eventually some J-pop idol groups as well. Asaki then began performing on the streets, and this one video of her would gain enough attention online for her to receive an offer from a label. Since her debut in 2018, Asaki's music has evolved from a slower pop and hip-hop sound to the many electronic arrangements she's made in the past few years. She's frequently collaborated with electronic artists like Maishima Soshi, Snail's House, Masayoshi Lamori, and Katono House. Asaki's vocals are mainly Japanese with the occasional English verse sprinkled in. They're usually auto-tuned and her lyrics often express her inner thoughts and can definitely vary in emotion. Her first single, Gender, was released in March of 2019, and around this time she established her own independent label, and changed her name from Asaki to Asaki. She keeps her identity hidden, which is a pretty common practice in Japan compared to the West. Asaki released her first album, Your Dreamland, in April 2020, and in July 2021 she made her major label debut with Speedster Records, releasing Castle and Madness. A month later she performed at the Fuji Rock Festival, which is one of Japan's largest outdoor music festivals. Alongside the release of her EP, Here Heaven, in December, Asaki held her first tour, where she performed to sold-out crowds in Tokyo, Osaka, and a few other cities. She performed virtually at SXSW 2022, and then released Killer in Neverland. Asaki held her biggest ever tour with the album, which included a performance at Tokyo's Zep Diver City venue. The year ended with Asaki performing at Japan's largest New Year's Eve festival, called Countdown Japan 2022-23. Prominent media outlet Pitchfork featured Killer in Neverland in an interview, and her track Punished was ranked 93rd in their feature on 2022's Top Songs. Her latest album, Code Geass, was released in 2023, and is an official collaboration with the anime of the same name. The album is Asaki's interpretation of the series' characters and story, and the title track was how I first came across her music after finding it on this playlist. Asaki collaborated in rearranging TRF's song Survival Dance for the trailer of Monster Hunter Now. This year she's released her newest single, Magic Sword, which is a theme song for another mobile game called Tap Hunter. Asaki's music isn't for everyone, and that's not a bad thing. If you don't become mainstream, you generally have more control over what kind of music you can release. Her distinct style and sound hasn't changed since she signed to the label. The creativity behind her music is definitely something that I believe a number of mainstream artists are lacking nowadays, and one of the reasons why I love her music so much. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more Japanese music content like this, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, let me know what your favorite underrated or lesser known artists are in the comments.